Back in the 1970s, a series of energy crises sapped growth and lifted prices. It gave rise to global stagflation. The question is, what is stagflation? Well, it is a combination of slow economic growth or economic stagnation and inflation, while the reasons leading to it may be different. The current economic outlook is not. Two of the world's biggest economies, the United States and China, are struggling. Millions in America are living on the edge. They are struggling amid historically high inflation. Food prices have shot up. Oil has become expensive. The cost of energy has jumped 41.6% in the last year. And the trend continues to move in the wrong direction. The consumer price index, a gauge of inflation, jumped to 9.1% in June from a year earlier. This was the largest jump since 1981. The U.S. GDP shrank at, at a 1.6% annual rate in the first quarter. According to Reuters, a report later this week is expected to show a gain of just 0.4% in the second quarter. Some even predict that the GDP hitting the same number as quarter one. And by one common rule of thumb, two quarters of negative GDP growth would mean that the United States of America is already in a recession. However, U.S. President Joe Biden announced that he does not expect the United States to suffer an economic downturn. He says in his view that the U.S. is not going to be in a recession. Listen in. I can be in a recession, uh, in my view. Uh, we are, the employment rate is still one of the lowest we've had in history. It's in the 3.6 area. Uh, we still find ourselves with people investing. Uh, my, my hope is we go from this rapid growth to steady growth. Meanwhile, the U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen also says that U.S. economic growth is slowing and further acknowledged that the risk of a recession, but she says that a downturn was not inevitable. While both Biden and Yellen downplay recession risk, the numbers clearly show that the U.S. economy is at least on the brink of a recession. Economists say that the U.S. economy will likely fall into a mild recession by the end of 2022 as the Federal Reserve raised rates to tame prices. Let's now focus on the world's second largest economy, China. China is in troubled waters yet again. Its economy is riddled with not one but two multiple crises. A wave of boycott is Roiling the property market, a rural banking crisis is brewing, the consumer demand is sluggish and the government is yet to fully call off its disruptive zero-COVID strategy. The economy is not looking encouraging either. China's GDP barely grew in the second quarter, while COVID lockdown continued to stifle growth. It expanded only 0.4% year on year between April and June. The economy grew at the slowest pace since the start of the pandemic. The quarter two figures were well below the market expectations. It comes amid rising recession fears across the world. China's banking crisis could also soon explode. The crisis started in April when rural banks in and around Henan province froze accounts of its customers. They were restricted from withdrawing their own money. How much money did the banks freeze? Well, over 39 billion yuan. That is almost $6 billion. This triggered several protests. One of the biggest ones was on July 10th, when over 1,000 angry customers lined up outside one of the banks, demanding their money to be returned. A probe finds that a private investment group in the province had been siphoning off deposits from small banks, which blew up into a major crisis. The debt-laden property market, too, is adding to the economic downturn. There's a debt pile of $300 billion, which was unleashed by real estate developer Evergrande. The real estate sector contributes over 25% to the Chinese GDP, and the Evergrande crisis is now sinking the entire country. The IMF has cut global growth forecast again, warning that downside risks from high inflation and severe slowdowns in the United States and China. Major economies across the world fear that a slowdown in the biggest economies could spill over quickly. While recession soon be a reality for the world, 
that remains to be seen. But what experts say is that if recession is on the horizon, it won't be like anything we have seen before.